And the teachers who say you're not smarter than me, they're from J.R. Fugit Middle School in Chester County. Hey, they just entered the classroom. The show that pits students versus their favorite teachers. You think they're ready to rock? They brought a busload in this cheering section. What's up out there? They all got signs. They're ready, and I hope you are too, because $500 is on the line. More importantly, these students are trying to say that I am, in fact, smarter than my teacher. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. It's pop quiz time. Okay, teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points to your team. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal these points. They're literally talk trash, trash talking side to side right now <laughs> while I'm doing directions, and I'm so pumped for this. Let's play, guys. It's pop quiz time. In the fable, the tortoise and the hare, who wins the race? Luis. The, uh, the tortoise. Tortoise is right. Nice correction. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Mrs. Proletsky. The Pacific Ocean. Good. What is the absolute value of negative six? Mr. McCauley. Six. Good. Traditionally, Halloween trick-or-treating takes place on what date? Mrs. Proletsky. October 31st. Teachers coming out flying here, 30 points on the board. <laughs> what is the term for the horizontal distance from the crest to the crest or trough to the trough in a wave? Wavelength. Mrs. Mazzagatti doesn't even wait for me to call her. She Sorry. says, I know the answer. <laughs> Here we go. What is the name of the alligator sidekick who follows Tiana and Naveen in the Disney movie Princess and the Frog? Louie. Absolutely. Louis. Nicely done. Extra credit question. That sound means double points, 20 on the board. A basketball, an example of what type of three-dimensional figure where every point on the surface is the same distance from the center? Anyhow. Sphere. Sphere is right. There's 20 on the board. Tie ball game. In the United States, what season... Follow spring. Mr. McCauley. Summer. There it is. That's our time off as teachers. During the Boston Tea Party, who did the Patriots disguise themselves as? Mr. McCauley. Native Americans. Good. In the NFL, the Chiefs represent what city? Mr. McCauley again. Kansas City. Kansas City is right. What glowing green rock is super Superman's weakness? Anyhow. Kryptonite. Kryptonite is right. What three-letter first name is also the term for an adult male turkey? Mr. McCauley. Tom. I've never seen someone more excited to answer questions in my life than Mr. McCauley. Man, it's J.R. Fugit Middle School from Westchester, Pennsylvania, home of the Cougars. And let's meet our teams. Do you guys have like a Cougar Prowl thing? Like, yeah. Uh, that'd be cool, but yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> something to start, man. Something to think about. Luis, good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How you are ready you? to do this today? Yes. All right. Well, five hundred dollars is on the line. That's a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. Where's that going to go to if you win it? It's going to lower the cost of tickets at our eighth grade dance. Yes. Okay. Cool, guys. I love this. You have huge acting accolades, Thank and you. she's only in eighth grade. Tell me what you did. I was in the Wizard of Oz at the Walnut Street Theater. That's crazy. Were you nervous? Well, sort of. Big time venue, <laughs> and what what did you play? I was a munchkin. Oh, cool, perfect. <laughs> Anyo, eighth grader, uh, some say he's kind of like 8.75 grader. What's your deal? So um, I go to the high school for my math course, and I have ninth and tenth graders there. So you're in tenth grade math as an eighth grader? Pretty much, yes. Hey, I haven't even hit 10th grade math, and I'm a 33-year-old man. Like, <laughs> at some point, you just say, Ennio is better than you, and I'm saying it right now. That's incredible. All right, Jacob, 8th grader, too, man. School play this year. Yeah. Uh, or should I say El Mr. Lead, because you got one of the leading parts? Mm -hmm. I'm Charlie Bucket and Willy Wonka. Are you ready for this? Hopefully. So, guys, good luck today. Off to a great start. 
Mrs. Poletsky, awesome to see you. You have uh, two two sidekicks over here ready to take this victory. We are ready. Five hundred dollars is on the line. That's yeah. that's got to be good for something. What do you guys want to put it towards? We want to put it towards a, a school beautification project. Paint Ooh. some walls, hang up some pictures of the kids. Nice. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe Mr. McCauley makeover. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Oh, hey, Mr. McCauley. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you direct the musical. Yeah. And so you casted these two leads over here. I did. I taught all three of these guys, and I have a lot of time this year with Jacob and Luis directed the musical. Well, good luck. And, and then the music, I hope Thank it goes you. really well. Uh, Mrs. Mazzagatti, really fun name to say, yes. science teacher. Uh, you put some hours into your hobby. What do you like to do when you're when you're not teaching? It almost seems like it was a long time ago, but I was a private pilot. Whoa. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. and, you, and I'm guessing you never had to crash land anywhere? No, they do train you, and you're training to do a lot of different, your worst case scenarios. So luckily, that never happened. Yeah, I was right. Prepared if it happened. All right, and if you're ever looking for a pilot, call Mrs. Mazzagatti for all your piloting needs. Uh, Mr. McCauley, good to see you. Oh my gosh, this is a new classroom record. 41 years in the education system. Look at my man. 41 years. That's insane. Social studies teacher. The biggest question: Do you make it to 50? <laughs> That's up to my wife. <laughs> so, uh, all right, guys, look, the game starts now. I have three students, three teachers, and three of them are going to detention. We'll find out who next. Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. And we have the trailing team of category. So students, we'll start with you. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass it to the teachers. If you play, you answer the question correctly. This is the good part. You get to send your teacher to detention. But if you get it wrong, look at that sad room. You go to detention yourself. If you pass, the other team must answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone to detention, 40 points on their score it's anybody's game here we go okay guys category is science play okay here we go what is the term for the type of boundary where tectonic plates slide horizontally past each other often resulting in earthquakes conversion incorrect guys we we're looking for transform boundary teachers are going yep we had that one <laughs> Tough go, guys. You didn't have to answer the question correctly, but you do get to send somebody to detention. Who's it going to be? You guys want to do it? You want to do it? Luis, Luis. We'd like to send Luis to detention. Luis out of the game. You have to go to detention. I am absolutely 1,000% positive, Luis, you have never been in detention <laughs> in your life. And I am sure of it. That's not a question. I'm just saying it's right. OK, teachers, the category goes back to you guys with geography. We keep, yes, we're keeping that. Yeah. 41 years, you saw social studies. <laughs> what is America's first and oldest national park? Yellowstone, I think. Yellowstone National Park. Well, Mr. McCauley named it himself. That's how long he's been in the teaching game. Yellowstone National Park, he gets it right. And that means, guys, somebody else goes to detention as Ennio and Jacob both start crouching, going, don't pick me, don't pick me. We have selected Jacob. Jacob, sorry, man, to detention you go. And look at that, two students. We, we're, we're trying to stop the, the landslide here. Ennio. <laughs> look at this. Anyhow, your, your back's against the wall. You feel like you can't get out. And then the host of the show gives you category math. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Anyhow, you pass it. I'm coming over there. Uh, I'm going to play. OK, thank goodness. In math, what does the F stand for in the FOIL method that is used to multiply two binomials? First. My man's a 10th grader in math. Yeah. Anyhow. That's what I'm talking about. All right, hey, yo, this is the cool part, man. You may never get to do this again. Send one of your teachers to detention. I'm going to go with Mr. McCauley. Yeah, of course you are. Why <laughs> wouldn't you? OK. <laughs> teachers category, here we go. Children's books. We'll keep. According to the title of a book by Adam Rubin, Dragons Love What Food? Tacos. Tacos. 
It's a delicious treat. Tacos is right. Eddie O, I hate to do it, man, but you got to go to detention. You didn't get a chance. Teachers score 120, students 50. Mr. McCall, you can get out of detention, sir. Don't go anywhere. Some of our contestants are going to study hall when we come back. Teachers, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from J.R. Fugit Middle School in Chester County battling it out right now. The score, teachers currently in the lead with 120 to the students 50, but it's anybody's game, especially because it is time for no books, just studying. We're going to study hall. Okay, here's how the game will work. Each team will select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Players will have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'll then ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Both players have five seconds to write down their answers on the chalkboard. When time is up, you reveal your answers. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. So teams, look across the studio to those bright, smiling people on both sides, and you have five seconds to talk about it, who you're sending into study hall. Okay, we think we got him. So teachers, we'll start with you. Who are we gonna go with? Jacob. Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Looking confused, but don't worry, we'll be all right. And then uh, students, who we send in the study hall? Mrs. Mazagati. Mazagati, Jacob, let's go. Center court, let's do this. You got it. Yeah. For you, Jacob, grab a seat. Mrs. Mazagati, enjoy yours. You guys, I just saw the looks you gave each other, oh, and there God. is some pressure <laughs> right here. Okay, we have 10 seconds on the clock. Look right here, guys. Let's put up that photo. Okay, let's take down the photo from my birthday party last year. <laughs> and remember, you guys, you have five seconds to write down your answer. Here's the first question. What color is the dog's bandana? Start writing. Okay, reveal your answers, friends. Jacob says yellow, Mazagati says yellow. The answer is... Red, which means <laughs> no, nobody's getting points there. That was a good try, though, in study hall. Listen, that, there was a lot going on in that. Okay, five more seconds on the clock, guys. Here's question number two. What instrument is the chef with the mustache playing? Five seconds. They're feverishly writing here. Two different answers, guys. Let's reveal them. We have guitar and drama. The correct answer is a drama, which means Mrs. Mazagat is getting 10 points for that one. Sometimes studying hurts. Did you, you thought it was somebody else, didn't you? Yeah, I did. All right, here we go. Question number three, five more seconds on the clock. How many characters are in the picture? Here we go, guys. Let's reveal your answers. You said four, Jacob. Mrs. Mazzagatti with four as well. The correct answer is four characters, 10 points aside. And a look at that, right after study all teachers, still in the lead 140, but students are within 100 points. And we're going into picture day next. And hopefully those smiles stick around because final exam is after that. The classroom still in session when we come back. Don't go anywhere, guys. First teachers from J.R. Fugit Middle School in Chester County. Look, you've seen these kids playing the game up here, but check it out. I mean, it's like the brothers galore out here. Who's your brother? Ennio. And Ennio, <laughs> and is he in 10th grade? Is he in 8th, a 10th grade math even though he's an 8th grader? Yeah. And then <laughs> you tell me this. Who's smarter at math, you or Ennio? Me. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Louise is pretty cool too, but are you a better actor than she is actress? I don't know, maybe. All right, see, he's acting coy. How good is that? All right, right now, the score 140 teachers, students 60. Who's going to win? I have no idea. But judging by their smiles, we're going to picture day next.
Okay, teams, grab your buzzers. We'll show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we're going to move three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture is going to win 10 points. Students, you need all the points you can get here, so let's get you back into this game. If you get it wrong, the other side has a chance to buzz in and steal. We have three pictures today. Here is your first. This is all about balancing. Ennio. Jenga. Is that Jenga? Whoa, Ennio! Holy moly, my man! Guy looks at nothing on the photo, guesses Jenga. Nicely done, my man. All right, here we go, guys. Picture number two. He took tap dancing lessons as a kid. Mrs. Proletsky. Patrick Swayze? <laughs> Is that Patrick Swayze? Okay, tough guess, Mrs. Proletsky. Student Steele, anybody? Buzz in if you want to take a guess. All right, here we go. Clue number two, three more boxes, please. He has been professionally acting since 1999. Mrs. Mazagati. Justin Bieber. Is that my man, Jay Biebs? <laughs> no. <laughs> Student Steele? Tap dancing actor. Don't worry, I don't know it either, and the card's right in front of me. Here we go, clue number three. Three more boxes. He played Eric Killmonger in Black Panther and Adonis Johnson in the Creed movie, and now everyone's buttons are going. <laughs> Ennio. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Is that Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Apparently, Ennio is on his game this round. Two for two as we move in to picture number three. Here's your clue, guys. This fictional person is a rule breaker. Clue number two, three more boxes, please. She is the daughter of a chief. Mr. McCauley. Pocahontas. Is that Pocahontas? <laughs> Students, you want to take a guess? Look at that picture. Buzz in if you want to guess. No talking. As, as a teacher, I can say that. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to move to clue number three. She says, there's just no telling how far I'll go. Mrs. Mazagati. Moana. Is that Moana? <laughs> that is Moana, yes! All three students were like, ah, oh, man, they knew it. Hey, let's take a look at our scores. 150 for our teachers, 80 points for the students. Both teams have 300 points. Still could be theirs. We're moving into that final exam right now. The topic of today's final exam is science experiments. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions on that final exam topic. Each correct answer you guys get is gonna bank you 100 points. No writing quite yet, here are your questions first. If you run an experiment to see if soil type affects a tulip's growth, what variable in the experiment would you change? Melissa, Milo, and Zach perform the classic egg drop experiment for science class in the Sunnyside ep episode of what animated show? Finally, what is the scientific term for an educated guess, often written as if-then statement, which can be tested in an experiment? Okay, we know the questions. We have 60 seconds on the clock. Who's gonna win? Is it the students? Is it the teachers? I have no idea, but I know how you can find out. Just come on back after the commercial break and see who ranks first right here in the classroom. But as always, if you wanna be a part of the coolest classroom game show on TV, here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Let's wrap this up. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from J.R. Fugit Middle School going head to head. Teachers a little bit in the lead right now, 150 to our students, 80. But the topic of today's final exam is science experiments. That's so fun. I loved those in high school. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions about this, and they're all worth 100 points each, a possible 300 points on the board. So let's get right to it. Someone's going to ace this final exam and get $500 to take back to their school. So here we 
we go. If you run an experiment to see if soil type affects a tulip's growth, what variable in the experiment would you change? We're going to start with the students. Jacob? Soil type. Soil type is exactly right what you would change. Yes. Soil type. In the experiment, the soil is that. Here we go. If you run an experiment, <laughs> teachers, you would change what in that experiment? I would change the soil type, but my it, not only did I spell it wrong. Oh, no. Yeah. Independent variable. So they, I would say the soil type is the independent variable, but in the experiment, we asked for what type, and we was the soil type. So we cannot give you the points just like that. Students, take the lead. <laughs> Moving into question number two. <laughs> Melissa, Milo, and Zach performed the classic egg drop experiment for science class in the Sunny Side Up episode of What Animated Show? Teachers, you are now behind, so we're going to start with you, Mrs. Mazzagatti. The Secret Life of Zach and Cody? Incorrect! <laughs> Here we go, over to the students. Ennio, you said? Milo Murphy's Got to Life. Wow, wow. So it's cool. My Milo Murphy's Law, guys. You were so oh. close. No points awarded, and look at this. The game comes down to our final question. Team separated by 30 points. What is scientific term for an educated guess? Often written as if-then statement. Teachers, you said? We said a, hip a hypothesis. That's going to get you 100. <laughs> Students, $500 is on the line. <laughs> Louise, you said? Hypothesis. $500. Oh, yeah. Middle school yeah. has won the game. <laughs> Unreal. J.R. Fuga Middle School can officially say their students are smarter than their teachers. Jacob, Enio, and Louise are going home.